Well, hello there. Good day, everybody. Hello, good people of the world. I am going to be making over this little three drawer chest, but we are gonna be doing a collaboration with another artist here on YouTube. And his name is Jay over at Flipping Drawers. He is amazing. If you guys want to see the collaboration between us and me explain to you a little bit more about what our idea is and the challenge that I gave him, stay here. Okay, everybody, so first of all, I want to talk to you for a second about Jay. So Jay is another YouTuber here on YouTube, and he does some really phenomenal work. Some of the pieces that he finds are pretty raggedy, and the things he does with them is amazing. And he doesn't always use paint, so what I like about him is that he completely transforms things, and he uses a mix of paint, restoration, all the things. And so I love that because restoration is one of my favorite things. So he restores and paints and does, he's just phenomenal. And his craftsmanship, craftsmanship is awesome as well. And I think that he's a wonderful teacher. Also, he's a nurse in the UK and nurses have a very special place in my heart. So thank you, Jay. And thank you to all the nurses out there. But I said to him, hey, Let's collab, but I have a challenge for you because I like a challenge and I know he likes a challenge. So I said, what do you think you can do with a bunch of these? So these are wood and they are hold on, just a bunch of wood pieces. Okay. And I said, you have to do something with these, figure it out, whatever piece you want, but we need to figure out what to do with these. And he said, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. And I said, that's awesome. So before we get off and start working on this, I want you guys to hop over to Jay's channel. Make sure that you guys are subscribing to him because he's really awesome. And I just, it's funny, the things that he creates and he's like me, he has a really small workspace. He works full time as a nurse, but he does his transformations in the alleyway behind his house. I do my transformations pretty much anywhere that I can fit. So I'll, he also, I like that because he understands that we're just trying to get things. We just want to create in small areas. So what I have here, my idea is I have some smaller ones that are a little bit thicker and then these bigger ones. And so my idea is to start with the top drawer and kind of see where my vision takes me. I don't know if I'm going to do it on all the drawers. It is going to be time consuming, but. I like tedious work and you guys already know that. So let's get started and we're gonna have so much fun. First thing that I did was take all the hexagons and I carefully glued them on the drawer fronts. What I did is I took tile spacers for when you are tiling different things and I'm gonna use those so that all of the spaces in between these pieces of wood will be equal. Because there are bigger gaps with this dresser, I laid it on its back and I just applied all of the hexagons on the drawer fronts 
and I'm gonna take a mini circular saw and I'm going to cut them. Now, if you have a piece that doesn't have gaps quite as wide, then you're gonna to wanna to do each drawer individually, but because I knew that that saw blade would fit right in between all those cracks without cutting the wood itself that I didn't want it to cut, I just laid it on its back and I did this on the entire dresser front. Once all the tiles were dry, I removed all of the spacers and I started making lines on the dresser of where those drawers ended so that way I knew exactly where I needed to put my saw blade. So I took my speed square and I marked them all off and then what I'm going to do is I actually tape along those lines as well and that helps keep them in place so they don't splinter and it allows me to see where I need to cut a little bit better than having to focus on a pencil line. So the brighter tape, if I focus on that, then it makes it a little bit easier than having to focus on a paint pencil line. I'm taking my mini circular saw and I am just going to go along that tape line and get those the excess off of that drawer front. Once I remove the tape, I reapply it to the bottom of the drawer and so that way I can cut down there and then I'll be able to put this dresser upright and then pull that drawer out and trim the rest off. And this is the same process that I will repeat for all of the drawers. I'm going to fill any of the gaps with the excess that I've cut off, but I'm going to pull this drawer out and you can see right here, there is the bottom part really thin that is loose. So I'm going to take a quick set wood glue from tight bond and I'm going to just put that underneath there and just secure anything that is loose before I trim all the excess off. So I'm going to mark and trim all the excess off on the sides of the drawers and then the tops of the drawers. So that way everything is flush. Once I've cut all the excess off of all the drawers, I'm going to go in with my 3x4 Electric Ray by Surf Prep and I am going to just sand down and smooth all of the edges. I use a 120 grit for this. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to clean my piece really well, or the frame of my piece really well, because that is the only part that I'm going to paint. And I'm going to do some green blending on here, but instead of going from the top, the bottom to the top with dark to light, I'm going to kind of flip it and I'm going to start with light and go up. So the bottom's going to be light, we're going to do a medium green for the middle, and then we're going to do a darker green for the top. So I'm going to lay down two coats of my base coats from light to medium to dark. And then once those are dry, we can go in and we can blend these colors together.
When you have colors that are very similar and in the same color family, they will blend very easily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that that transition line is wet. So I'm gonna add a little bit of paint on the bottom and a little bit of paint on the top. And I'm just gonna start working them together. And I'm gonna spray it because you don't want your paint to catch, but I'm gonna just keep toggling between the two paintbrushes to kind of work and blend them together. And then I'm gonna take my clean dry neutral brush and I'm gonna spray it one more time and I'm just gonna feather and smooth the blend out. That's the same process that I'm gonna use for the top and for the sides and for the entire piece. I'm gonna take a clear spray wax and I am going to put that on the drawer front so that way the wood is protected. And then it kinda of shows a little bit of the wood grain and gives it a little bit more of a golden hue. So I'm gonna spray it on there, I'm gonna rub it in and then it will be done. All right everybody, here is the piece right there. Make sure that you guys are going to Jay's channel, Flipping Drawers, and check him out. He did, his piece is Super awesome, I love it. He took an old commode and turned it into a bar. So make sure you guys go check him out, make sure you're subscribing. And then guys, make sure that you are subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys later again. Go check him out and happy creating everybody, bye. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, want to see it now.